No, I thought we got off, you know, we offensively were a little shaky in the first half, and I thought for the first time, I thought the ball stuck a little bit. We didn't get the ball swung from side to side and jumped up and took some bad shots. I thought this, the, the difference in the second half was we moved the ball a little bit better. We got some stops defensively, which also helps, and we were able to get out and run and get some easy baskets. Um, first half especially, I thought, we, you know, we settled for too many contested jump shots and didn't drive it and I thought in the second half we, we did a little bit better job you know you go 10 for 20 from the free throw line and we turned it over a few too many times but uh, I thought our defense was was pretty good in spurts anything that was different that you saw on them that loosened it up for you guys or was it just uh, the ball I thought was the ball went inside you know in the first half especially you know of I think it was our first 12 laps we missed eight of them so we got the ball to the rim and, uh, and, and didn't finish some there. And then I thought in the second half, I thought Mark and Trey did a better job of finishing around the rim and the perimeter guys threw the ball in there. And now all of a sudden there's a little more space on the court because on the closeouts it's hard to get back on a guy on a closeout. And I thought the guys did a good job in the second half of driving closeouts. Mark, what did you see from your perspective? Just them frustrating you guys and just not much room to breathe or not much room to operate in the first half? Yeah, it was bigger bodies um, around the rim and they were a little bit more physical. So which kind of changed the dynamic of the game. But otherwise, we figured it out, um, out towards the end and started playing a little bit. Reggie, same thing in your perspective. Just was it frustrating to have it go so slow, you know, the first half? Uh, yeah, kind of like Coach said, it was taking, we were taking bad jump shots. So, I mean, that was the main point. And then later on, and we just figured it out, like Mark said. Reggie, you, got, you made your first uh, college start. You, you got those two quick fouls. But then you came back and you really rebounded nicely. How did you uh, stay engaged in the first half like that? Uh, the main objective, trying to get the win. Got to do whatever it takes. And uh, I mean, those two fouls, I mean, it, it happens as part of the game. So I just kept playing through. There's a lot of shuffling players around, especially late in the first half and then the second. Uh, Julian had no minutes in the second half. Was it a matter of going with the hot hands? I know he hurt his ankle. So uh, you know we didn't have him second half, and uh, you know I thought that the I thought the young guys did a real good job. You know we start Zach, so you start two freshman backcourt guys out there, and then you had Ray in there for quite a stretch. I thought Ray did some nice things too. And uh, you know I think the, the 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 unfortunate thing for us is they need minutes. The fortunate thing for them is they're getting them and they're learning on the job, which is the good news and the bad news. But I, I thought that you know, we had some breakdowns defensively. We had too many balls going towards the rim uh, that we didn't empty on. But you know they're they're learning. Mark, can you talk about the energy uh, on the floor and in the building, just how it all kind of came together for you guys so much in the second half, just the feeling of, of all that? Yeah, that's why we appreciate um, the crowd we have out there because they bring um, a special type of energy compared to what we have on the road. So it's like, it really helps out a lot. And talk about what it did for you. You know, you guys brought it to them, but they gave it back to you. But talk about on the floor, just the, the energy that you guys had on the floor in the second half. Um, we just huddled up and said, let's pick it up because we felt that it was a step slow. And then after we hot it up, just picked it up and started running faster and <laughs> brought energy. Yeah, I thought the minutes were good too. I mean, Mark played a lot of minutes. He, he's down a lot from last night. He played 24 less minutes. He's probably mad at me. They played 24 less minutes, but the, the rest of the minutes were good. Were you got? Was anybody at all? Just the minutes? Did anybody look like they had slow legs? Maybe in the first. I half thought of Mark all? was to tell you the truth, was a little stiff. I thought early and, and settled. I mean, that's after what he did last night. That's to be expected. And I thought Reggie was a little stiff. So I mean, that's. Get some treatment, get back. You know, everybody's playing three games in three days. So that's, that's part of it. You talk about his poise and composure and command. So young. The the good thing is he's fearless. That's that's a good thing for both he and Zach. And they just got to start reading some things. And I, the only way they're going to get is to have experience and to play through it and see it in practice. That's, you know, they it, it happens. And then as they know, and everybody says it, it happens much quicker in games. The speed of the practice is in the speed of the game, so now they've got to slow down. And I thought, with the exception of that one little spurt, he was he was very good with the ball. He had that those back-to-back -back little spurt that you know, you know a, a month from now it won't happen. Reggie, can you talk about where your feel for things and, and confidence is through all this? Uh, my confidence is building just with time and getting reps in, like Coach said. But um, yeah, those two turnovers, I just didn't throw the ball hard enough, and. Uh, I mean, just gotta keep running through and finish out the game. A couple lobs to this guy. Yeah. A little, little fun? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> just give you the fingers and. I mean, I seen him open on the backside, and uh, the big man came up and helped, but I just slapped it up there to him. Coach, when did you know that you were gonna get Brant back for tonight? 
Well, we've been looking at him a couple. He, you know, he, the amazing thing about Meech is such a fast twitch guy. He, he hasn't fully practiced. He's practiced for the most 20 minutes, and of that, it's probably <laughs> one, it's, it's, it's 10 minutes of shooting and 10 minutes of some live stuff. Played some one on one, so you know he, he doesn't have the full grasp of what we want to run offensively, which was obvious tonight. Some of it. We'll get him back and as he continues to get healthy. I mean, it's, just, it's another live body that allows you to rest Trey, and now all of a sudden, to tell you the truth, Mark and Kevin don't have to guard big guys for the most part, although, you know, they, they can do it. But it's, it's a lot easier when you have two big bodies. It takes a lot of the pressure off of Mark and Kevin. And allows, to tell you the truth, allows Kevin to give him a little bit more of a breather. Did you like what you saw out of Kevin tonight? He was, I mean, two for two from the floor, limited minutes, but he's just producing whenever he gets his minutes now. Kevin, Kevin's the same as these guys, as Reggie and, and Zach. He needs repetition and Ray. They just need to get a feel for everything. And, you know, he's learning a whole new offense, a whole new defense. And, and you know, he's, he just needs experience and minutes. You excited about, you got all 11 scholarship guys that you're going to have now. Got to be a nice thought to know that everybody's, you know. We, we talk about it. We, we're away. We are a ways away from where we want to be and where we need to get. But I mean, now the good thing is, hopefully, we got enough guys to practice. The big problem has really been, you know, we're taking Ray and making him your backup four for three weeks, and he's got to learn a three and the four. And you have no. You know, at one point, we had no Meech, we had no Patson, we had no Brandon. You know, just we've had some weird deals. So we just need to. It, it helps having those scout team guys and those red shirt guys and everybody back, so we can get competitive in practice. <laughs> magic healing. <laughs> I have no idea. I didn't even know I was going to play today. Um, they told me yesterday it's up to me, and I just gave it a shot. So why not? How'd you feel? Um, not too bad. I I was gassed out. <laughs> I was so tired. But other than that, my leg felt great. Um, I just can't wait to get back in shape and actually go for real. Were you never worried, you know, about this again with the the history of the um, injury a little bit? No, not at all. I don't think about it. That like I don't feel any pain in my leg at all. So I go day day by day, just you know, grinding it out, waiting to play, waiting to come back fully. You see Reggie throw those lobs, you get a little excited. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, the one he threw me, it was kind of short, but it was whatever. Actually, hey, I had to say, yeah. This <laughs> for more, right? Yeah, I can't wait. Cool. Can't wait for tomorrow. You told me earlier, in this, or before the season started, that uh, you were worried about missing some of the big out of conference games. Well, we got Florida and Texas A&M coming up. How excited are you to get? So to excited! I'm not gonna lie. When he told me I can, when they told me I can play today, the only thing I thought about was Florida and Texas A&M because <laughs> that's the two games I actually want to play in right now. And knowing that I can play in them just made me super excited. They're, they're going to need your body. Yeah. Um, those games are, what's um, the what's the plan for practice moving forward this week? Um, I think they're still going to make me go like 30 minutes a day, if that. And I go two days on, one day off. So my two days are today and tomorrow. And then I got a day off on Tuesday. And then I'll be two on, two off again. But I'll be ready for Florida. Can I help you shake off the rest a little bit? Just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to some more tomorrow? Oh, yeah. I can't wait. And just in case anybody's worried, you're still bouncing, Meech. Of course. Bouncing. <laughs> <laughs>